So a few weeks ago, I started a series in which I'm trying to make playlists for every single weapon line in the game. Each playlist is going to contain all the weapons that you, a solo new player, might want to be aware of in Halloween Online. So if you're looking for a new build, this is going to be the best resource that you have available to you right now. We've covered a ton of different weapons, but right now, we still have a ton more to cover. And the next weapon line that we have on our list and the one that we're starting right now is the Fire Staff Weapon. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be the last video in the line or the first video in the line. Uh, thing is, right now we finished showcasing the Wildfire Staff. Again, I'm not sure if we're going to be starting with the Wildfire Staff or with the other staffs that we showcased. So far, I showcased a PvE set with Great Fire and a very good PvP set with One-Handed Fire. The last staff that you want to be aware of as a new player is the Wildfire Staff. And that's the one that I'm showcasing today. The build that you want to use is this hunter hood third spell force passive you want to use cleric rope same thing third spell force passive guardian boots this time is actually important that you have guardian boots because sometimes you want to swap to the third spell and the second passive but generally you want to be on the second spell second passive you want to have a tome of spells for an offhand a keeper cape some crab omelet or pork omelet that works just as fine you want to have some healing potions on you with some gigantify potions and you want to have the uh, the classic wildfire staff with the first q second w and third passive you might want to change your abilities depending on what you're doing but i'm just going to explain the classic setup and then give you some swaps uh, just so you are prepared for whatever you might encounter so first of all explaining the abilities it is the q looks like this it applies a, a burning debuff on the target and you can spam it like crazy thanks to your passive every few spells that you use you actually get a speed boost in terms of casting so you will be able to cast like an absolute mad lad thanks to this passive right here which boosts your cast times by 40 percent for three seconds in those three seconds you can easily restack the buff as you can see right over here look at look at my character bar boom that's the buff and i'm restacking right now boom so it doesn't really have time to run out you see what i mean if you manage to spam this right everything else in this build kind of helps you with spamming this so you have the healing potion meant to aid you in terms of spamming this as much as you can you have the guardian boots again if you have the third ability it's going to help you because this ability is going to double your hp you're not going to have any move speed because of this i mean you get like 25 percent, but that's basically nothing but you do get a double hp bar so you can use this to attack through enemy defensives something else that you can use to attack through enemy defenses is actually the gigantify potion which has a similar if oh no it's actually the same exact effect I, I thought it was a little bit lesser something else is the everlasting spirit the cleric rope this makes it so that you apply a word to yourself that light that you see around you if you get attacked while that light is on you you, you become invincible for three seconds which is really good and you have the hunter hood which is basically an anti-brawl it stops people from brawling in case you mess something up and in case like in a situation in which they don't stop brawling they're going to take a lot more damage than you will take oh and if you're facing melee players you can actually keep them a distance with this w right here which deals damage upon impact with the enemy and it fears them so it's going to keep them away not allowing them to pass that's basically the meat and potatoes of the build but notice that i didn't really explain the e even though the e is a very important part you have to understand how the current setup that i have right now plays the current setup is very much a turret build as we call them in albion you're just staying there and doing damage to the enemy the damage starts defending against your damage you cancel that with cleric rope after the cleric rope ends the enemy starts defending even more all right you cancel that with this right here enemy keeps defending you can cancel that with your gigantify potion and you keep yourself up and up and up and you just don't allow the enemy to take a second of break while you're doing massive damage enemy approaches you keep them a distance so on and so forth you want to spam your q now of course Throwing the E is also something that you want to keep track of, but I'm going to explain that separately because there's different playstyles that you can actually adopt with this build. The first playstyle is the turret playstyle, which works very well against melee players that don't have a lot of mobility. The second playstyle works very well against Kairos. Whenever you are facing a Kyra, you want to swap to the third Q, which is going to be somewhat hard to unlock. It's an ability that you unlock at level 85 but it's very much worth it and the last w which is an ability that you unlock at level 70 they're pre-end game abilities uh, you might not have access to them but i'm just trying to explain so you know what to do this q you cannot spam it so ideally you would also swap to the uh, fourth passive i forgot to mention that because the fourth passive like you're not really going to be able to take advantage of the cast times so you will need to have the the boosted damage so you at least get something out of it the first Q looks like this, it applies the same burning dot on the enemy, it has an extra effect in the, in the fact that the fourth time you will hit your Q, you will deal extra damage. So first time, 165, second time, 165, third time, and the fourth time, 
boom 319 damage and then this w right here it's a channel ability as you can see right there it can very easily be interrupted and it deals massive damage by dropping those puddles on the floor uh when when the enemy stay in there it's just it's just causing the enemy to take a ton and i mean a ton of damage this would be the playstyle that you want to have against Kyra's. You want to make sure that you're kiting them as well with your Q. And in case they're running away, you want to pinpoint them with your W. Which is going to lock you, but at the same time it's going to do so much damage to them that it might just be enough for you to kill them with this. And you also want to make sure that you swap your F if you're fighting a Kyra. Uh, so that you can actually chase after them. Sometimes you might also want to swap to this right here, which is uh, an early game ability, depending on if you could or couldn't catch with your target. If you couldn't catch with your target, but the target itself is not doing a lot of damage, or maybe you need to run away from the target sometimes, like let's say a curse call, it's a good idea to swap to this just so you can actually get an extra bit of mobility. You can also use this for damage, it deals quite nice damage on the enemy. And now let me explain the things that all those builds have in common, which is the E. Well, the E is basically this right there. Doesn't deal a crazy amount of damage, but what the E has that nothing else from the Fire Staff line has is the fact that you won't be able to get reflected. This damage does not get reflected back to you. Hear me out. It's quite important to understand how this works. So as you can see, the E deals an initial damage of 648 that can be reflected to you. But the second part, the enemy players who are not mounted will take 12% of their max HP that will not be reflected so you still want to try to avoid reflects but this is one of those abilities that you could potentially try to attack to a reflect if you feel like you wouldn't die because of it because your enemy would end up taking a substantial amount of damage compared to you which would take just a little bit of damage don't forget you can actually cancel the enemy reflects by using this so don't forget about that you can also use gigantify pot for that you don't have to tank to reflex you don't have to just use that and take the reflected damage but i'm just saying the e is quite unique in the fact that yes it's very hard to hit very hard to hit uh, but if you hit it you're gonna have the um, assurance that you're not gonna take as much damage as you would by hitting let's say a one-handed fire staff e on the enemy reflex that would reflect a ton of damage back to you this would reflect just a little bit of damage back to you which in terms will end up being quite all right quite all right so yeah that's about everything you need to know about this let's show the build in action then you're gonna have to improvise I kind of mistimed this. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Wow! Wow! Sorry, chat. I was speaking about how to de-aggro the wife and I was explaining the principles of sleeping chocolate from the from the toilet. Like, you, when she gets uh, that time of the month, you want to lock yourself in the toilet and just sleep chocolate from under the door. It's kind of out of context for you guys watching this on YouTube, which gives you one more reason to join us on twitch.tv slash It is what it is. Okay, well, I don't know why I thought he was good, but apparently I was wrong, chat. Come on, come on, auto clicker build, you don't need to do much with this chat, you really don't need to do much with this build, 500k, hey, bring it, bring it man, just bring it. Oh, what a nasty, so I'm trying to help you over here. Ah, oh, come on, I tried to reflect that. So I'm trying to help him over there with the traps and everything. And that's how I get repaid. Nice. I'm so happy he died. Get out of here, man. I'm trying to get rid of the mob for both of our benefit. And you backstab me like that. Shameful. That was a shameful act, my dude. That, uh, okay. The voice crack, don't mind that. Yeah, we're gonna mind that, Modern. It, it is what it is, my friend.
He truly is for this. Hey, yo! 2019 is calling. They want their build back. What are you doing, man? You can stack up as much as you want. It's not gonna work. I mean, alright. Auto-clicking it is, chat. This has been a victim of the Albion Online matchmaking. It's another fire staff. It's one-handed fire staff. Oh, aka the better fire staff. Oh, come on. Why did you miss that? Chat, I want you all to say GG, I hit my first Q. I hit my first Q, my first T, sorry, I hit my first T. I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of that. That was my first E hit. Chat, needless to say, I'm not very good with fire stabs. But I know what I'm supposed to do and I can somewhat showcase the build for you. Watch us play live on twitch.tv slash mockdown.